Well, the building we're in right now was built in 1989. It opens that year. I actually came on board in 1996. Since I've been here, our productions obviously get larger and larger and more intricate and bigger, and it, like anything does. You set a bar, you have to go up, or, or you're stagnant. In that time, we've never had anyone injured. One of the first considerations is, can we safely do this? And if we're like, we, we can do it, but it's not safe, then we're not going to do it. Safety has never really been an issue. Like, I, I, I honestly never thought about it because no one ever got hurt past, like, a little scratch in their finger from, like, a broken nail or something. But the one thing that always really threw me off was that the catwalks are open grating. So if you look down, you can clearly see every person in the audience, and it's, it is... I don't need, my heart goes to my throat. I'm just like, if I would fall right now, this would end so badly. We're always looking forward to what we can do to make things safer. What can we do to make this better? We need an outside entity that we trusted. So where do you go to get that? Well, we ended up going to Starlight. You know, they're easy to get a hold of. We know them. We've used them. We trust them. Let's get them in here and see what they say. Any type of carabiner clip, something along those lines. What do you do? Starlight's main role was first the design and then second the installation of the fall arrest system. Some of the challenges that we faced on the job was the building was not designed for fall protection. It was an afterthought, you know, almost 30 years later. The building and the catwalks and the ladders were safe for trained professionals. However, most of the workers are students and because of that the school wanted to increase the level of safety by adding fall protection. French Creek Production custom fabricated all of their lifelines according to our drawings for the building. One of the safety features that we installed in the grid was extra bar grate over top of the rigging wells where the lift lines drop through. And we had to weld angle iron uh, over that spacing. So we had to get a MIG welder 65 feet up in the air. After all of the custom I-beams were engineered here in-house and they were approved by the customer, the steel then had to go into fabrication. Uh, so we have a certified welder, Jim Brady, who did all of the custom welding and preparation for the I-beams for this project. For the I-beam connection points, we had to drill through the existing steel as well as our new supplemental steel uh, using a magnetic drill. In the front of house catwalks, the span was very large, over 100 feet, so we had to have two workers able to attach to a horizontal lift line. So there was some special engineering that had to go into that uh, for the lift line to be rated for two workers over that entire span. The fall arrest system was designed to anti-Z359 standard. All right. That I know. Wire thing, that coil you're talking right there. Yeah. Right. These are the metal energy absorbers, uh, which are similar to the shock packs. And if you were to fall on the horizontal lifeline, these are going to deploy just like the packs on your lanyard. Mike made us put our harnesses on, which I am so thankful for. But the, just having the harness made me, it's like a security blanket. Like I knew I wasn't going to fall, but just in case I did, I felt comfortable. Because you just feel safer. And once you feel safer, you can relax more, get the job done faster, and probably better at the same time. And I think it's just the peace of mind that it gives you kind of helps. Today, we start our training on our fall arrest system. And I can tell you, there's 20, 21 kids coming to this. I've had at least 18 to 20 calls today from the theater kids making sure that they're coming because they're so looking forward to it. And that's really important. You have two companies that charge the same amount of money for a job. And one of them that you are comfortable with and they work well with the kids and they teach the kids and you feel safe with them. And the other one doesn't. Which one are you going to pay? And that was ultimately my final way of deciding who we went with. So that's why we hired Starlight.